Hi, welcome to the City Logistic Game. This is presentation 2. Previous presentation was about concept of game and general introduction. This presentation is about playing the game and using the interface for taking decisions as a shop player. The game is developed in software called NetLogo. When you will start playing the game, on your screen you will see two windows. This window is animation window and this is an interface window. The animation window has two buttons. One is start simulation button and another is setup interface button. How to use or when to click on these buttons, I will show you in a bit. There is also a day counter on this window which will show day number. As the day progresses in the game, the counter will display day number as 1, 2, 3 and so on. This part of the screen is animation view. This grid-like structure represents the city for which city logistic game is designed. Here the red blocks represent the outer city and four shippers are visible at each corner of the city. The shippers are represented by black square with red, yellow, blue and green border. The white line making the grid-like structure represents the road network and house-like symbol represents the shops. Below the animation view, you can see a plot that will show how much profit you are making as the game progresses. It will show total profit by green line and average profit by blue line. The average profit is calculating as total profit divided by number of days. Now let's get familiar with interface window. You can see several blocks representing information on this window. The green color box are where you can put some information. The light yellow blocks will show information about different parameters. Now I will show you how to start and play the game. To start with, first you need to click on Setup Interface button on the animation window. Then you come to interface window. Here you put shipper number that is 0, 1, 2 or 3. Let's say I want to order goods from shipper 2 then I enter 2 here. You will be given information about shippers and based on that you can select which shipper you want to order from. Next, here in this green box you put your profit margin that is how much profit you want to charge for example 25 percent after putting this information press enter on the keyboard then you will see here on this display box that your shipper and profit margin will be recorded and displayed according to your choice of shipper the ordering cost will also be displayed next press start simulation button on the animation window and the game will start Remember that you cannot change your shipper or profit margin during the game. This initial procedure is listed on the interface window for you. Now look at your at the bottom of the interface window. There is a box for information. This box will continuously give information about the current status of the game. So also keep your eye on it during the game. As you know from presentation 1 that you as a shop player need to take decision about placing an order for your shop. You need to take this decision every single day in the game. The information box will show message when you need to take this decision. You will get 45 seconds to take this decision. There is time counter next to the information box. Thus, for any single day if you want to place an order, then put the order quantity in this green box and press order now button. If you do not want to place an order then simply press don't order button. If you don't take decision without, within 45 seconds then it is considered that you don't want to place order. I suggest you to press the don't 
order button in case you don't want to place an order as doing so will speed up the game. Next, on this part of the interface window, you will find information about cost occurring to shop players. That is total purchase cost, total order cost, and total inventory cost. Next to the cost, you can see total income the shop player has made by selling goods to people. Below that, you can see information about total profit, which is calculated as total revenue minus total cost. On the right side of cost and revenue, you will find information about current stock in your shop, maximum capacity of your shop, and quantity of the last order you placed. When you will start the game, your shop will already have some random amount of stock that will be displayed here in the current stock information box. The game is set for a timeline of some months where one month is equal to 30 days. When the game time is over, it will display that message in the information box. This presentation gives you all necessary information about the game. In case if you have any more questions, then please contact the game moderator. Thank you for participating in the game.